Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, in this video I want to implement a suspended status for user accounts in a standard Laravel application. I had a message from someone how we can do that and in this video I'm going to show you an example. I have created a Laravel project here which is a simple one with a live wire and vault uh, as a starter kit. Now what we need to do is we need first to add the field to the user's uh, table to mark an account as suspended. Next we need to modify the login process to check if that user, uh, if that account is suspended or not. And we need to prevent login and show an appropriate message if that account is suspended. Okay? So let's go and register right now in this user i'm going to or let me just open the terminal and run the artisan the migrate fresh there there see because on the seeder we have a test example so let's go and log in with test example dot com add the password which is password and yeah here we are i'm going to save this just to have here now let's open again the terminal and I'm going to run the PHP artisan make migration at suspended at the user's table. And yeah, we can add uh, a status to be a string, for example. Uh, by default, it's going to have a active status, but if we want to suspend that, we can add a suspended status to be a uh, enum. Or we can add the boolean uh, is suspended boolean to check. By default, it's going to be false. And if we want to suspend that user, we can make that true. But I prefer this uh, suspended out to be a timestamp call. Okay. We we'll hit enter. And now let's open this with a uh, windsurf, or you can open with with what you like okay i'm going to open now that uh, suspended at suspended id users and yeah let's zoom it for you here we have a table and what i wanted to do here is to add a table timestamp suspended at the be new label and also let's say i want to add that after the email okay Optionally, we can add also the table index for the suspended art. Now also here we need to drop the columns and also the suspended art and also the column, the index and the column. And now we are okay. We need to run the migration. So let's say artisan migrate. And yeah, let's say dash dash seed. Now we have that user by default is going to be false so if i open the browser and refresh if i log in with a test example yeah we can log in okay now let's open the wait open the user model in here and on the protected fillable i'm going to add that suspended add okay then also on the cast I'm going to add the suspended at to be a date time. Next, I'm going to create three methods. Okay, so first, if this is check if the user account is suspended, it's going to return boolean, and we have public function is suspended, which returns boolean, and here we say return if it's not known this suspended at. Okay, then we have this to suspend the user account, which also this return boolean and return this force field suspended at to this fresh timestamp. Also, to unsuspend the user account, we just say this force field the suspended at to be a null and save. Now I'm going to install filament just uh, because it's more easy to display all the users to have a table instead of creating a controller and something like this. So let's open the browser and let's open the filament I'm going to install the filament, so just copy this command, open the terminal and paste that in. Okay. Now we have the filament here. Now let's create a user resource. So artisan make 
colon filament dash resource and user resource and now let's open the windsurf and open that user resource which is right here and yeah we need to change the form here okay so i paste the code here and i'm going to explain because if i write and it's going to take too much time so first we have a text input for the name of the user then for the email and it's going to ignore the record to true then we have a date time picker for the email verified at and also we have a text input for the password and only require on create not on edit unless changing so required function string context boolean if the context is triple triple with create and also hash password before saving dehydrated max length and helper text so leave blank to keep the current password if, if we are on the edit then we have the add the suspension field so it's going to be a, a date time picker because suspended art is a date time and we have a label it's going to be no label helper text setting a date time here will suspend the user and also disabled if the record id is with that user id so if we are logged in we cannot uh, suspend ourselves also here we have optional if we want to hide completely if user cannot manage uh, suspension if we have uh, if we work with policies i'm going to just leave here as a reference so you can have here next for the table we have text column for the name email email verify that and is toggled hidden by default to be true hide by default and also created that is hide by default and then we have the suspension status column so icon column make suspended add label status boolean so it's going to treat non null as true and null as false true icon is going to be here icon no symbol and check cycle for the fails icon true color is going to be danger fails color is going to be success and tooltip and also sort table optional you can show the suspension date directly so text column make suspended add and show this on the filter also i added the ternary filter so make suspended at a pass the label placeholder true label suspended users and fails label active users and queries so true function query where not null the suspended at and false query where null the suspended at also i added the action so by default we have only this but I added the delete action and visible only if the record ID is not as as ID because I don't want to delete myself. Then we have an action for suspend and unsuspend. So action may make suspend, label suspend, hair icon color requires confirmation, yes, and model heading suspend user. Then we have this model description and the action. So if the record ID is triple triple with the auth ID, we say title action denied because you cannot suspend yourself. Otherwise we say record suspend. So this assumes the suspend method exists. And if I open the user, we have that. We created the user suspend and unsuspend. Okay, so you have suspend and also unsuspend here and not notification makes success title user suspended send and also visible only show this action if the user is not currently suspended and not the current admin then we have the action for unsuspend okay so the action is to assign a record unsuspend and also only show this action if the user is currently suspended and that's it so now let's open the browser 
go to dashboard and I'm going to change this to be not dashboard but admin and if I go to users yeah we have only one user let's log out and let's uh, create a new user yeah we need to change this to be not admin but register here I'm going to register with Tony and yeah let's say Tony at email.com add the password and also password again I'm not going to save this uh, let's navigate now to admin got the users maybe let's zoom it a little bit and we can see now because we are logged in as Tony we cannot delete this and also we cannot suspend the Tony we just can edit but we can delete and we can suspend the test example let's suspend this let's click on the suspend I'm going to confirm that and yeah we have now suspended we have the button to the action to unsuspend okay so now we su suspended the test example but if i log out we can log in with that user because yeah let's change also the url to be just slash login and if i log in with test example yeah we can log in now we need to modify the login page to check if that user is suspended log out and show a message that the user is suspended for that we need to modify the login page so let's open the login blade because here we i chose to have a vault we have one page the login blade for the logic of php and also for the blade and first here we have a method for the login we validate the data and sure it's not rate limited and we have to check here if the attempt failed hit the throttle key and throw the validation exception otherwise it's going to log in that user clear the throttle key and session regenerate and redirect indented and the default route is going to be the dashboard now here i want to say First, I'm going to get the user, not just directly if out the user is suspended, but I'm going to say dollar sign user to be equal with out user like this. And uh, yeah, we check here if user suspended, out log out, and throw validation exception. But also, I want to make some changes here. So let's check first if the user is an uh, instance of a user model and the user is suspended i think we have imported the user yeah now we have the correct user there and if the user is suspended we say i'll log out but also i want to say session invalidate and also let's say session regenerate and then let's throw the validation exception with message yeah on the email i'm going to say not out suspended because we don't have that but let's work just with a string here to say you are your account has been suspended and now let's see so we check if the user instance of the user model and the user is suspended log out invalidate the session regenerate the session and throw the validation exception let's see now let's open the browser i'm going to log out first and with the hard refresh and just go to login and try to log in with this user we can see your account has been suspended if i want to log in with uh, tony which is not suspended tony email dot Home, login yeah just let's try again because the password and yeah with tony we can uh, log in but with uh, test we cannot and let's open again the admin here 
and I'm going to change the test example. So on suspend the user, confirm. Okay, let's go and log out. change the url and if i log in with test example login yeah now we can log in let's go and log out and create a new user i'm going to register with a admin let's say admin example and i'm going to navigate the slash admin Go to users. Right now we have three users. We are admin. We cannot delete or suspend the admin, but we have two other users we can suspend and delete. Now, yeah, you can protect uh, the admin, but this is not the video to protect the filament admin. This was only for to show you how we can implement the suspend. Uh, yes, also here I added a filter so you can filter the suspended users here or active users right now we have only active users if i make this suspend and now i'm with the filter for the suspended users yeah we have this user here and also i'm going to see the suspended on here so the time this user has been suspended and I think that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. Now, if you like such a videos and such a projects and such a tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.